Hey, this is Halftime Howie. We're thrilled to be in the amazing town of West Hampton Beach. And, you know, this is a, a famous uh, theater with so many great talents. Decades has been here forever. Billy Ray, who's from the uh, Strawberry Fields Band. Let me talk about the significance from a historical perspective about the famous West Hampton Theater. Uh, well, the West Hampton Theater's been, been around for a good Oof, maybe 30 years. years. More. More. And uh, it's become the, the, the center point for people to gather and come and see great entertainment. And it has some of the greatest stars in the world play here. Strawberry Fields was very fortunate to be here as well. Naomi, this really is a landmark here in West Hampton. It sure is, yeah. Well, this started out as an old movie house, and I think anyone who grew up in West Hampton has been to this theater. And then with, uh, with the beautiful community of uh, residents we have here, they refurbished this theater, and now it is the intimate sm spot for big performances here on Long Island. And uh, like, uh, like you said, Strawberry Fields has performed here. And now we are so lucky that they are going to be performing for us um, to benefit the Susan Satriani. Uh, Satriano. Satriano. Okay. Like the guitarist. Yeah, absolutely. Um, foundation. And uh, we are going to raise the roof on the high school. And right? uh, Joe is uh, in. Uh, tonight we're going to call him Sergeant Satriano. <laughs> and let's, uh, let's walk towards the uh, uh, Simon's Bakery. And Naomi, talk about the fact that. Um, West Hampton has such a awareness to breast cancer. Look at all the the um, ribbons. Yes. I, I don't know of any other town that would have uh, such an awareness. Talk about the awareness that breast cancer has here in West Hampton, where every corner of the street has ribbons uh, um, signifying the impact of breast cancer awareness. Month. Right. So October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And the village, this community really embraces so many different um, uh, foundations and, and uh, you know, we all come together to celebrate uh, and um, support this, spe specifically this group. Um, this is a new thing. This is the first year they've done that. Um, so it is so significant uh, considering we are also having this concert that will benefit these children that have been affected by cancer of a loved one or, um, you know, a parent. So it's beautiful. This is an amazing community. I mean, it truly is uh, a very supportive community. Very quiet right now since it's Sunday night. Everyone's home doing their homework and uh, <laughs> getting their kids ready for school. But uh, it is. But I quite think a they're place. all going to come together on uh, October second to, to do a, a, a huge. Uh, for, uh, I think it's going to raise a lot of money for a fabulous cause on October oh, yeah. 2nd yes. at West Hampton High School. Sure, sure is. Hey. You know, I've seen Billy Ray perform at B.B. Uh, King in Manhattan in Times Square. Uh, there is no better uh, Beatles band we like to think so. uh, than uh, Strawberry Fields. They put on an incredible show. And Billy Ray, you're a West Hampton resident? Yes, right? that's true. So, how, talk about the impact of performing in your own hometown, West Hampton High School, with your fantastic band, but performing to benefit such a great cause like the Susan Satriano Memorial Scholarship Foundation. Well, it is a great thrill for me being a resident here at West Hampton Beach. Uh, I get to share the evening with a lot of people that I know here in town, a lot of the kids that I see in school, and uh, more important, the most important thing is to know that you're part of something that is going to benefit uh, people that have had their world turned upside down by attractive disease, and uh, that's that's the payoff. That's the great thing about doing this. And for the people out there, talk about um, your um, Strawberry Fields band. How long you've been in impact? And and we were talking before the show that your band has had the pleasure of playing in front of some huge venues, over 50,000. So you really are one of the top Beatle bands going. We like to say that. <laughs> but it's true, We've uh, I've been with Strawberry Fields for about 12 years. Prior to that, I was with, uh, years before that, I was with a Broadway show called Beatlemania. 
Um, I got involved with Strawberry Fields. Uh, there was an opening, and I saw one of the one of the guys that I used to work with. The menu was in the band, so I auditioned for it, and it's been a great, great, great 12 years. The band itself has been around for 26 years. It was actually founded by a gentleman that plays John Lennon. His name is Tony Garofalo. Uh, Tony is a uh, retired New York City police detective sergeant. Uh, when he formed Strawberry Fields 26 years ago, it was balancing both being a police officer and then being a member of the full time band. Uh, the special thing about Tony that I'm always proud to say is that he was one of the original uh, responders to the 9 11 track. So he, he's really a hero, and it's a pleasure to be in a band with him and uh, the other fellows. That's awesome. You know, when you plan a fundraiser, there's got to be a lot of teamwork, and the administration at uh, West Hampton High School has been great. So let's uh, bring in Naomi uh, Hogarty and Susan Summer from uh, West Hampton, from the uh, PTA.